guys, it's Earthy and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how I take my traditional art sketches and turn them into a digital uh, quote unquote painting. Uh, <laughs> uh, I went ahead and sketched out this little turtle. I've been drawing him for kind of a while now uh, and he's one of my favorite uh, characters to draw. I've kind of I haven't really just given a name but I've kind of tossed around some name ideas and I'm kind of settling on Terry. I don't know. <laughs> so I went ahead and pulled up my uh, printer and opened up the scanner and I went ahead and set my settings here. So I have a 360 resolution, a black and white photo, um, and I set it to a TIFF which is actually a higher resolution or like a higher quality um, format. And then I selected the uh, picture to scan it. Uh, you guys don't have to scan it. This can be kind of complicated, but I have actually finally figured it out. Um, you could totally take a picture with your camera, with your phone even, and just send it to the computer or whatever um, thing you're using to draw. Okay, so then I opened up Photoshop and then I click File and Open and then I go ahead and select my scan. Um, I am just going to do some basic editing, which I'm going to talk to you guys about and show you how to do uh, so it doesn't look... So we're getting more of a painting look, so it's not just the sketch anymore, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I went ahead and took my lasso tool, and then I'm just going to go ahead and trace all the way around him, um, just getting it like a basic shape. So once I have created my shape selection, I'm going to go ahead and click Command C, which is for copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in a new canvas. So I went with a square, which was 800 by 800, uh, 360 resolution, CMYK color for my color mode, and white. <laughs> so then I selected or clicked Command V to paste my selection onto the new canvas. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and select um, my levels and then we can actually kind of take care of that white, that uh, kind of grayish color of the paper. So I went ahead and took my white eyedropper tool and selected the paper of the sketch. So that way it kind of took it away, <laughs> I guess. Um, it just kind of like made it very, very light so you cannot see it. Uh, I then went in with my eraser just to clean up any uh, messy um, things or like uh, paper, like graphite smudges or any like texture things or anything like that. So you could actually spend quite a while doing this. Uh, so I just kind of did some really simple stuff around here. Okay, so as you can see in the right hand corner, I have this yellow circle. Now that is actually going to represent my light source because I wanted uh, the sun to be hitting the top of his head and like the very, um, kind of the back, not the back, but like um, part of his shell as well. And you'll also notice in the left corner, I have my colors and I actually uh, searched on Google just like a turtle clip art and actually made the image pixelated. So all you had was some basic colors and I just used those and I actually did kind of tweak them at the end because I wasn't happy, like completely happy with the way the colors turned out. So I actually used like the color balance and hue and saturation tools in there. Um, so for my brush, I'm using the, I think it's the hard round brush. I think so. I can't quite remember, but I think it's the hard round brush uh, and I'm using it so like it's pressure sensitivity, so if I press hard, the line's going to be thick. If I press uh, lightly, uh, the line's going to be really thin. That is one of my favorite tools, is the pressure sensitivity. It is so, so awesome. <laughs> uh, so whenever it comes to blending, I actually used the smudge tool with a um, light strength. So I think it was maybe 12%. I don't know. Um, so I can just kind of blend everything I didn't want to go too, too crazy with the blending, and I feel like it still was kind of like splotchy, um, but you know, it, it was okay. <laughs> uh, but overall, I really, really liked the end result. Um, 
and everything. This show, I, I don't know, the show wasn't my favorite, and I think the highlight on the show was really weird at the end. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I actually think whenever I made a mistake whenever I was sketching it out, uh, you see I have a middle line, like, so that there's going to be, um, six squares, I guess, on his shell, uh, or actually seven, yeah, yeah, seven, <laughs> uh, squares on his shell, and actually, I think I should have just done, like, left out that square, so it'd be, like, three, yeah, um, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of, like, quickly made that decision, should I add it or not, and I added it, but I feel like I could have erased it. Now I could do that in my um, in here with the sketch, and I could erase like erase it, but I didn't think of it when I was doing it. Um, but all of a sudden, when I'm doing the voiceover, I think of it now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then I went in with my uh, human saturation and color balance because the shell was looking a little bit too much like uh, his skin. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, so we're wrapping up and I did a soft round brush for like the ground. I, no, sorry. Not a soft round brush. A hard round brush. Uh, no pressure sensitivity. Uh, yes. Yes, pressure sensitivity. Gosh. Um, <laughs> and then I actually took the smudge tool and just kind of smudged out onto it, the canvas. Uh, so then I erased that and then he was done. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were able to take something out of this and maybe try uh, this out for yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!